Hey folks, this is Iman from AllAboutAndroids.com and today I'm covering a ROM uh, for the ASUS Transformer 300. This is a ROM by the developer Surdu Petru on XDADevelopers.com and it is called the Ultra Fast ROM JB Overclock Edition version 02. The main reason is it is able to overclock up to 1.66 GHz. Now let's just take a look at the ROM. It is stock based so you will get the traditional ASUS apps that come with so app backup, app locker, etc. And of course with the traditional ASUS launcher, the traditional ASUS uh, keyboard as well. One thing I did notice though, it did not come with Supernote, the app uh, that I used to take notes for school. Um, I'm not too sure why it didn't show up but uh, hopefully in the next update they will be able to include the APK. Next up, let's just take a look at the settings over here. We have these customized colored icons. So instead of it being monochrome icons, we have these colored icons, which does give it a different touch and does make it nicer to use. Under the customized settings by ASUS, you have the option to change the mode, which is right here. Saving mode, which is at one uh, gigahertz. Normal mode 1.3, which is the default. And 1.66, which actually rivals the ASUS Infinity Pad, which costs hundred dollars more and taking a look at the version based on Android 4.1.1 so Jelly Bean and it is based on the latest ASUS stock which is 10.4.2.13 uh, now we also have the advanced power menu with different icons as you can see you can go straight to shut it off reboot or go straight into recovery and uh, as usual this ROM comes with a bunch of other customization options so if I go to my Antutu app right here, I should be able to customize uh, the scaling. As you can see, interactive, conservative. Um, I use interactive because that means while I'm clicking, while I'm actually tapping on the tablet screen, it will respond and change to that. Under advanced, we also have the IO scheduler. So it comes with three options, no operation, deadline, and CFQ. Try them all out, see which one works for you. I'm more of a no operation uh, person uh, because it just functions by default. Deadline uses its own algorithms and CFQ, uh, I've tried it, it didn't really improve much um, on, in terms of performance. And that's roughly it for the ROM. It's stock based, it gives you some new icons. It is really fast and snappy. Uh, I haven't noticed much lag anywhere uh, and it is great for a daily driver. And just to end off, I'll show you the cool boot animation that it comes with. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. This was Imran from AllAboutAndroids.com. I hope you liked the video. Please do comment and subscribe. It helps us out. We also have a Facebook page, a Google Plus account, and a Twitter. Add us there as well.